What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your, let's see, fourth Objective-C tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be talking about some concepts that are at the heart of Objective-C. And that's specifically classes, objects, and methods. Now just like real life, your computer program has classes, objects, and methods. And let me give you an example in real life. A class would be any classification that an object belongs to. So for example, I'm an object. My name is Bucky. I belong to the class of people or persons. And like I said, that class has a bunch of objects. You, me, your friend Tom, your Aunt Sarah. Um, so pretty much classes are classifications for objects. Now in addition to me and you just being classified somewhere, we also can do stuff. We can sneeze, we can breathe, we can eat these would be things called methods so there are classes which classify objects and objects can do things and these are called doing methods so the computer program in Objective-C is set up exactly like this so this is what we're going to be building in not only this next tutorial but all the tutorials to come it's the heart the key concept of Objective-C so there are a couple important parts in any time you want to build a class. The first thing you need is something called the interface. And what the interface does, it pretty much describes all the information that's going to be in the class. So let's go ahead and in order to get started, go ahead and press at sign interface and you see it gives you a blueprint right here. You need to name the class, the super class, which means where this class came from. This is I'm not even going to touch this in this tutorial. This has to do with inheritance. Um, IVARs were pretty much the instance variables. And, well, you'll see later on. It'll just be easier if I just type it. So we have an interface. And this pretty much, what class do we want to build? Well, we want a general class called person. And this is pretty much a blueprint for every object to follow. And the objects are going to be people like me and you. So we have an interface called person and just go ahead and press colon put ns object. This is the parent class like I said. Um, this has to deal with inheritance. This is the only thing you're not going to understand in this program but it's a concept that we should not be covering right now. So anyways, what kind of traits or variables does every person have? Well, as general blueprint for every person they have an age and a weight. So that's the only thing we care about for this tutorial. So go ahead and put int age, since it's an integer value, and int weight. There we go. I'll get it eventually. So now we have two kind of qualities about us, and these are called variables. We have age and a weight. So when we build objects later on called, well, you know, like Bucky or Tom, we can give them an age and a weight. So now, aside from this, once we're done putting in the instance variables, we need to put methods. And again, like I said, methods are things that objects do. So in order, you would usually have stuff like sneeze, eat, breathe, drive car. But for this, we're going to keep it real simple. What we want to do is just have a little print statement just to check to see if everything works. And we also need a method called set age and set weight. Without this, you wouldn't be able to set the value of age and weight. So we need a method to be like set age to 23, set weight to 350. So that's what we're going to be doing. In order to create methods for your interface, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and print minus and now inside um, parentheses, this is called the return value. What do you want your method to return? Well, this is going to be a weird concept for you to understand, but we're pretty much just going to be changing variables and we don't we're not asking for anything back. So, if you're saying all right, if you had like a method called calculate temperature, you would want an integer value back. If you had a method called what's your name, you'd want um you guys don't know what string is yet, string back and this would be like letters and words. But we're just going to be printing something out on the screen and we're going to be like, all right, our computer, we're just going to change something. We don't need anything back for you. So go ahead and put void right there. And this means we don't need anything back. 
Next, we need to name our method, and we're just going to name it print. Simple enough. So aside from just, and by the way, this print is just going to be text on the screen, and it's just going to say, I am blank years old, and I weigh blank, depending on what we set our variables to. So now, now that we have our print method, let's go ahead and make two more methods. Like I say, we need to make two more methods to change or excuse me to give a value to age and weight so that's what we need to do right now so when we do this we don't need anything back so put void and just name this method set age and now what we need to do is since we're going to be giving it a value we're going to need to put something in called a method argument so instead of having a semicolon this would mean end the method go ahead and put a regular colon and this is going to say alright some methods need arguments and some don't an argument is pretty much a piece of information that it would need so whenever we set the age we of course need to tell it an integer value that it would need so go ahead and inside parentheses type int and you can name uh, your age anything I'm going to name mine a so here's what's going to happen we're going to make a method called setAge and it's going to require a little bit of information called a and this is going to temporarily hold the value of age you'll see later on whenever I create it it's going to be real simple but for now this is pretty much just the blueprint so the last thing we need to do is do this exact same thing for weight whenever we create this method we're just going to be giving it a weight we're not asking for anything in return so that's why put void we're going to name it set weight and the piece of information that we're going to give you is an integer value and we're going to name the weight w so now that we have our interface built um, that's everything we need for persons so go ahead and press at end and now your computer knows to end the main interface or blueprint so here's what we have set up so far we have a class called person and it has two qualities a person's gonna have an age and a person's gonna have a weight now what this person is gonna be able to do is print out a little saying that's gonna say something like I am 23 and weigh 100 pounds and why we have set age and set weight is because we we need methods to actually give it a age and give it a weight so that's why we need these two set methods so we have our interface built simple enough in the next tutorial we're going to be building our second and maybe third part of our class so for now that's all you get I'm sorry thank you guys for watching don't forget to stick around for my next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe